Briar stretch. We got some sprinkles yesterday. There are some isolated sprinkles today, but more than anything, it was a chilly start. We had those 40s. Everyone was waking up. Take a look at that out to the west, waking up into those 30s. They have recovered quite nicely, up 30 degrees already in Sioux City. We're still in the low 60s here in central Iowa, some 50s off to the east today. We do have some areas with some sunshine. If I look around central Iowa, our sky cams, you can find some peaks of sun. We've got the cloud cover hanging over central Iowa in downtown Des Moines right now. Those winds are out of the west at 12. That's about where they'll stay through the afternoon around 10 to 15 miles per hour, but it is straight out of the west this afternoon. So as you're driving uh, up and down I-35, you just kind of want those two hands on the wheel. Taking a look at the forecasted winds today, 10 to 15. Tomorrow, 15 to 25 gusting near 40. So it's definitely a two hand on the wheel type of drive day. As we head into Thursday, it will feel much more like today. So today is a good day. Thursday is a good day to get out and about and run your errands tomorrow. Not as great. We still have this low that's off circling up to our northeast and it's just wrapping around those clouds and some light showers. There just basically be a couple sprinkles. That's about all it would get. You turn on your windshield wipers and that's about it. You can start to see some green up in northern Iowa. Most of this is not hitting sensors. Actually, some of the radars, it's not even picking up too much of this, so it's likely just evaporating before it ever hits the ground. As we go through the afternoon, we'll continue to see the mix of sun and clouds, so you'll need your sunglasses and then you can cast them aside and then back and forth you go. Tonight, we'll see those partly cloudy skies. As we go through Wednesday, much more sunshine. Notice the clouds kind of take, take a, a drive off to the southeast and those winds, they will be kicking. Again, gusts up near 40 miles per hour. Then as we head into Thursday, that's when the cold shot of air is going to come in. Notice some thicker cloud cover up in northern Iowa, but it will be much cooler with highs only in the 50s thanks to a cold front. We've got those forecast lows to talk about 51 tonight, which is pretty close to average, but then the downswing really turns down as we head into Friday. We're going to start to see those 30s pop up across central Iowa. Northeast Iowa does have the best bet of seeing some frosty conditions, but certainly we will be watching to see if those lows, if we do get clear skies, that would be uh, that would be bad news. That would be a better chance of seeing that frost as we head into Friday evening. It does look dry for those football games. Saturday morning does does look dry with those clouds, but as we look towards the afternoon, there is a chance of seeing some rain bubble up in central Iowa push off to the east in to the evening hours. Keep in mind the cyclones play at 630 and then Sunday morning. There could be some leftover lingering showers early, but things clear out after that. Today we'll see that mix of sun and clouds. Most will stay dry throughout the entire day. Just there could be a couple speckles here and there, but 65 degrees, so a couple degrees warmer than what we had yesterday. Tonight those temperatures drop off to around that average category 51 degrees. Those winds they will calm down as we go through the overnight, but ooh, they are going to crank back up tomorrow. A windy Wednesday and then those temperatures really drop off as we head into Thursday.